what is the structure and function of a cell well there are three common parts exist in any cell like cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus or dna now what is cell membrane it is the selective permeable membrane which allows certain materials to pass through for example it allows essential ingredients to enter to the cell like water and oxygen secondly cell membrane remove toxic substances out of the cell like carbon dioxide and waste products thus cell membrane allow good products to enter to the cell and remove waste products out of the cell now what is cytoplasm cytoplasm is the thick jelly like structure and it provides shape to the cell it means that different shapes of the cell are due to the different shapes of the cytoplasm all the cellular functions are cellular reactions take place here in the cytoplasm for example protein formation occur in the cytoplasm respiration occur in the cytoplasm mitosis or meiosis occur in the cytoplasm secondly all important organelles are present in the cytoplasm like mitochondria ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum golgi bodies lysosome which we will discuss later in this lecture now what is nucleus well nucleus contains dna dna is a booklet of information this booklet of information is the blueprint of all the functions taking place in the cell secondly nucleus is the control center of a cell or king of the cell it controls all the activities occurring within the cell for example nucleus controls how cell should develop how cell should survive or grow how cell should reproduce etc thirdly nucleus contains nucleolus it forms ribosomal rna or ribosomes the newly made ribosomes are transported out of the cell through the nuclear pores to the cytoplasm where they can do their job now what are ribosomes well ribosomes are floating organelles in the cytoplasm they make proteins needed for the cell for example ribosomes makes protein for the growth of the cell ribosomes make proteins for the repairing of the cell to learn about the ribosomes and protein formation we must understand endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum are of two types rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum the main difference between them is that rough endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosomes and smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not contain any ribosomes it means that smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not produce any protein because it has no ribosomes but it produces lipids or cholesterols etc secondly it also does detoxification it means that breaking down of the toxic substances within the cell now coming to the rough endoplasmic reticulum we know that it contains ribosomes and ribosomes form protein then what is the function of rough endoplasmic reticulum well it helps the ribosomes to produce proteins secondly rough endoplasmic reticulum pick or enclose the proteins and vesicles now what are vesicles vesicles are the drugs within the cell i mean vesicles are the drug inside the cell they transport substances within the cell from one part to another the protein formed by the ribosomes and packed by the rough endoplasmic reticulum is transported by the vesicles to the golgi body also known as a golgi apparatus golgi is the name of the scientist who discovered it Remember that Golgi body is the port of the cell where things are collected packed and exported Golgi body receives proteins from rough endoplasmic reticulum it modifies the protein by giving them proper shape for example it will add lipids or carbs to the protein and change the shape of the proteins because shape of the proteins play a pivotal role in its function After this Golgi body will pick the protein and vesicles finally vesicles of the proteins are delivered to the targeted destination both within or outside the cell for example Golgi body will send proteins to the damaged part of the cell for repairing by the help of vesicles 
Until now, we learned that ribosomes are formed by the nucleolus and the nucleus. Ribosomes synthesize proteins. A rough endoplasmic reticulum pack the protein in the vesicles and transport them to the Golgi body. Golgi body provides specific ship and prepare the protein for a specific task. Finally, Golgi body sends it to the targeted destination to perform its function. Now what is mitochondria? Well, mitochondria is the power station of the cell. For instance, in our daily life, power station provides electricity or power to the city. Similarly, mitochondria provides energy to each and every part of the cell. Mitochondria also contains its own DNA different from the DNA of the nucleus. In mitochondria, cellular respiration takes place. For example, glucose will combine with oxygen to release energy in the form of ATP and carbon dioxide gas is produced as a waste product. Energy produced in the form of ATP by the mitochondria is then transported to each and every part of the cell. Now what is lysosome? Well, it is digestive part of the cell. It contains digestive enzymes. Here, food is broken down for example, like carbohydrates are converted to glucose, proteins are converted to amino acids. Finally, what is vacuole? Well, vacuoles are called storehouse of the cell because vacuoles store water, food, mineral salts, nutrients, waste products, etc. The size of vacuoles may vary in different organisms. For example, in animal cell, there are many smaller vacuoles, while in plant cell, there is only one and large vacuole. Now, what about animal and plant cell? Well, to learn about them, watch our next lecture.